Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I'm here to do a Ready, Set, Hold for you guys. If you're new, Ready, Set, Hold is a feature where I talk about books that are coming out a couple of months in advance so that way you guys can put them on hold at your local library. That way you can be at the top of your hold list rather than the bottom of the list. And in this video I am going to be talking about books that are coming out in March. The first book I'm going to highlight is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is a new young adult fantasy series that is West African inspired and it's being described as perfect for fans of Lee Bardugo and Saba Tahir. This book is getting a lot of buzz. I've seen it on a bunch of people's Instagrams as getting like arcs for it and being super excited about it. It's been on a bunch of like must read lists for 2018. It's been featured in like big magazines like Entertainment Weekly, Ebony, things like that. And so it seems like this is going to be sort of the big young adult fantasy series to check out this year. In this story, you are following this character named Zelly, and in the land that she lives in, magic is abound. But everything in her world changed the night that magic disappeared. Under the orders of a ruthless king, magi were killed, leaving Zelly without a mother and her people without hope. Now Zelly has a chance to bring back magic and to strike back against the monarchy. With the help of a rogue princess, Zelly must now outwit and outrun the crown prince who is hellbent on eradicating magic for good. And again, this is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Aideyemi, and this one comes out on March 6th. The next book I have also comes out on March 6th, and that is Girls Burn Brighter by Shoba Roy, or Rao not exactly sure how to pronounce that one. This book is getting compared to Khaled Husini, Elena Ferrante, and Rupi Kaur which is quite the interesting combination and I feel like is on a lot of people's radars in terms of people who are interested in literary fiction. In this story, you are following two girls, Purnima and Savita, and they already have three strikes against them. They're poor, they're ambitious, and they're girls. After her mother's death, Purnima has very little kindness left in her life. Uh, she's forced to look over her siblings until her father is able to find a suitable match. So when Savita enters their household, poor Nima is very intrigued by this joyful, independent-minded girl. Suddenly, their Indian village doesn't feel quite so claustrophobic, and poor Nima begins to imagine a life beyond marriage. But when a devastating act of cruelty sends Savita away, poor Nima leaves everything she's ever known and everything that she has behind in order to find her friend. So if you are a fan of literary fiction, then this is definitely one you should put on hold now. It sounds like a really interesting look at a friendship between these two girls as well as what it's like growing up in India. And again, that's Girls Burn Brighter. Next up, I have another fantasy book, and that is Obsidio. And this is the third book in the Illuminae files. And this one comes out on March 13th. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about plot in this one because Again, it's the third book in a series, but Illuminae was a huge, huge bestseller. I know that a lot of people are very much looking forward to this third book in the series. Uh, so if that is you, then you should definitely put this on hold now so that way you can pick it up as soon as possible. And again, that comes out on March 13th. Next up, I have The Merry Spinster, Tales of Everyday Horror by Mallory Ortberg. Mallory Ortberg is probably best well known for her work on The Toast, uh, but she also wrote the book Tux from Jane Eyre, which was very real well received. This is a collection of short stories that are darkly playful and a play on like classic folk and fairy tales. And this is a book that's adapted from her series of essays and stories called Children's Stories Made Horrific. So if you read that and you were a fan of those, then you will definitely be a fan of this book. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wanting to pick this one up since they are fans of Mallory Ortberg. And again, that's called The Merry Spinster, Tales of Everyday Horror. And this one comes out on March 13th. Next up, I have Herding Cats by Sarah Anderson. Sarah Anderson is a really hilarious comic strip writer creator. Her first book was called Adulthood is a Myth. And this is actually her third book that she's put out so far. Her comic are hilarious and just like so on point. She talks about all of the weird and awkward situations that she deals with or is confronted with. Uh, she talks about like being an introvert and just feeling uncomfortable with random adulting things. I'm a big fan of hers. I really love her stuff and I know a lot of people really love her comic as well. So again this one is called Hurting Cats and this one comes out on March 27th. And the final one that I have is I've Lost My Way by Gail Foreman and this one also comes out on March 27th. Gail Foreman mm -hmm. is probably best well known for her book If I Stay which was adapted into a movie but she has written a number of contemporary young adult books and is always really well received. In this story you are following 
three different characters. Freya, who loses her voice while recording an album. Harun, who is making a plan to run away from everyone that he loves. And Nathaniel, who is just arriving in New York City with a backpack, a desperate plan, and nothing to lose. When a fateful accident draws these three strangers together, their secrets begin to unravel as they realize that the way out of their loss might just lie in helping others out of their own. So if you are a fan of Gail Foreman, then this is probably going to be another one that you are going to enjoy. And again, that's called I've Lost My Way and it comes out on March 27th. So those are all of the books I am going to highlight in this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if you are planning on picking up any of the books I mentioned here or if there's another book coming out in March that you are very excited about. Uh, so that way all of us will know about that and can put it on hold ourselves at our local library. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.